today. From SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California. This is the National Football League. Arizona Cardinals. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Arizona Cardinals and the Los Angeles Rams. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me, as always, Charles Davis. And, Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, they're still valuable, not just as runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. we go from SoFi Stadium. And the opening kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback. Arizona's offense takes the field and no surprises the man that's guiding them, the Pro Bowler in his fourth season at the wheel of this offense, Kyler Murray. Drafted with the idea that he'd be one of the most dangerous quarterbacks in the NFL when he put it all together. We've been seeing that progress throughout his career. This guy's legs, we knew they were phenomenal. Arm, top notch. But now we're seeing his mind come into the game. Reed's defense is better and better each and every week and is showing patience as a passer as well. Not as eager to exit the pocket, finding guys downfield for bigger plays. Now a man in his second season in a Cardinal uniform. Here's James Conner. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Next to receivers have spread the defense out, and they were able to come through with a slashing run. But to that point, it's going to be interesting to see the personnel chess match as this one progresses. Yeah, you're exactly right. Can they continue to create running lanes out of passing sets? And if so, it's going to be a long day for the defense. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. They stay on the ground. Here's Connor again. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. to throw it's Murray eluding the pressure and he can't find a receiver and he's brought down they overload him that time of the safety blitz and he winds up being dropped for a loss of seven but you know it's never easy to get Kyler Murray down to the ground and to do it with a sack on their first drive what a great tone setter defensively oh and no one's celebrating more than the defensive coordinator because that's all he's preached all week long Keep him hemmed in. Don't let him get into the open field and create big plays with his feet. To get him down in the pocket early, oh, that's got to feel great for them. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Murray a give. This is Connor. And they won't fare much better here as he maybe gets back to the line. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's got a man complete. 
And he'll be brought down at the 27. All right, Charles, let me put you in the head of one of those defenders out there. You have a big play like that go against you so early. What Does that shake your confidence? It shouldn't, but it often does because your thought process all during the week is how you're going to get after that offense and make your plays. And when they make one against you, it makes you a little bit hesitant. Time to regroup. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. On first and 10 is counter. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. That pass complete to Moore. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. Throwing now is Murray. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. It's a pickup of six. And there's the beauty of Kyler Murray because we all know he can get it done through the air. Terrific right arm. And nowadays, we don't even talk about his height anymore. He's shown that he can see downfield and make throws. But he also possesses wide receiver speed. He can call his own number or scramble and turn it into a big play as well. And he is in for six. Touchdown, Cardinals. James Conner, a three-yard touchdown run. And the cards are on the board first on the road here in L.A. And that caps off what was really a balanced opening drive for them, Charles. They work in the rushing game and the aerial attack, and they end it with a touchdown strong in so many ways, wasn't it, partner? Their ability to throw it and run it and accomplish their goal, they've got to like the way that they started this ball game. Rodrigo Blankenship now for the PAT. And the Cardinals will go up 7 to nothing. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it was a touchdown run by James Conner that was the exclamation mark. So after the touchdown, here's Blankenship kicking off. This fielded right at the goal line. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. And here comes Matthew Stafford leading the Rams offense out there, and just as he did last season when he captured his first in the Rams' second Super Bowl title. A seasoned veteran. We're seeing more chapters being added in Stafford's decorated career. Secured a Super Bowl ring, remains a respected leader, and his stats, they're better than ever. Now we just continue to watch him climb the ranks of the NFL's all-time passing leaders. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their own 27. Back to throw, Stafford. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. I know we spent a lot of time talking about how the defensive backs read routes and, and make plays on the football. How about a good linebacker feeling the route, seeing the quarterback, 
jumps the play and knocks it away. Really well done. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Now the first carry for Cam Akers. And he'll get a couple up to the 29. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And 4C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. <laughs> Throwing on third down. Stafford. The cards get to him here. He's brought down for a sack. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. The start of this game shaping up nicely on that visiting sideline. Yeah, how about that? You get your points on the opening drive. Then you get a big sack there on third down, and you make the home crowd go, shh. There is a hush indeed. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. Greg Dorch back deep. He'll take it at the 42. It's a 39-yard punt, eight on the return. And this offense will take over right at the midfield stripe with a first and 10. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10, right at the 50 yard line. Here's Murray from midfield. And that nearly trouble, but it's incomplete. The rookie had it and lost it. And it'll be second down. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Shotgun now for Murray. Fighting more on the out route for the completion. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. From the gun on third down, Murray. This one grabbed by A.J. Green. And he will be out of bounds here on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Scrimmage the 37 on first and 10. They run behind center with Connor. And tough sledding. He'll get maybe a yard. Stop short of the 35. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Oh, he put it on the carpet, a fumble. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing, not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, it, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but the other team doesn't get it. 
That's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. The Rams calling on their nickel set here defensively for third down. Out of the gun, here's Murray. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Maybe not exactly what they had in mind, but that scramble good for six and a first down. We have so many different terms for third down, third and short, third and long, third and manageable. How about third and medium? Because that's what this one was. The defense looked like they had him hemmed in, but he gets away, evades the rush, and picks up just enough for the first down. Meanwhile, Murray's throw taken in by Green here. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. 18 yards the gain for number 18. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. They'll run here with Connor, and this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. A terrible spot for a holding call as he'll try again, but now from further back on first and goal. From the gun, Murray. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. the middle and nothing doing he's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage it'll go as no gain on the play and now they're looking at a third and goal so stuff for no gain on second down brings up a pretty interesting third from this distance I'm throwing the ball and I'm not even thinking about play pass I'm gonna let him know right away I'm throwing it but I'm probably giving my quarterback some room, sprint him out to one side or the other, and give him an opportunity. If it breaks down, he can take off and run for it. They showed off a nice juke of the defender before the next wave could bring him down. Give him eight yards that time on the scramble, and now fourth down. Out there is Rodrigo Blankenship in the field goal unit. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. Blankenship's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So another scoring drive there, Charles, and an early two-score lead. You'd like the six there, partner, but you'll take the three, and I think they have to be happy about the way they moved the ball in these first two drives. They have to feel good about their opportunities the rest of the game. After the made field goal, here's Blankenship again. Fields it right around the goal line. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. 
So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. Nothing for them yet from an offensive standpoint, down 10 zip as they come up first and 10. the gun Stafford and his throw here's incomplete Ben Skoranek the intended receiver that'll bring up second down that pass just a little bit off it looked like maybe he tried to force it in there game speed always different no matter what you do in practice you can't simulate it right so your decision making everything has to be a little bit quicker sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust Throwing again on second and 10. Stafford, he's got his target. It's the tight end, Tyler Higby. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. 10-0, our score. 22 yards there, a first down. the 50 Stafford and the hook up here to Allen Robinson and they'll get this down to the 42 yard line fired that one in there able to make connection on a nice in route with those faster passes when they're going that fast any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection if you miss might be bigger and lead to an interception yeah and the deflection works both ways maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air and sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well but a moot point there is they were able to connect Stafford looks to throw again. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 29-yard line. They give them 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him even if he has an elite defense. And he's got it. That's cut for a Ram touchdown. A great play there. 29 yards. And the Rams have cut it back within a score. Sometimes when I see these types of plays executed, I think of basketball. Guys boxing other guys off to go out and get a rebound. And he got the rebound right there. But the defense was really placed well. Yeah, they were right there. I mean, that's where it's really tough for a defender. When you're in the right spot, you're draped on the guy catching the ball, yet he still comes down with it. Matt Gay on for the extra point. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. Five plays there on that drive. And it ends with Cooper Cup on the receiving end of the touchdown pass. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Well, the Cardinal offense going to take over late in this first half. And just inside of a minute left, Charles, they got a pretty long field ahead of them. I'm curious to see how they play this, but you would think definitely enough time to at least try to get three out of this. Yeah, you want to move with a nice sense of pace. You want to up the tempo a little bit, but you have to do it with some poise as well. You don't want to go so fast that you hurry yourself into mistakes. 
there's enough time to put points on the board if they do it right. And even though they have the lead, you know that they would love to extend this lead before heading to the locker room. Murray now on first down. Got his man, Robbie Anderson. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. First down, Murray. Green brings it in. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Murray going to throw. Over the middle complete. It's Connor. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. The Rams and Cardinals, they met three times a season ago. They each won in the other's building in the regular season. The Cardinals 37-20 in Week 4. And the Rams in Week 14 on Monday night would win at 30-23. And then, of course, they would also meet in the first ever Monday night wild card game, the final game of the first super wild card weekend. And the Rams kicked off their title run with a 34 to 11 win at SoFi. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. Just his second incompletion so far. He's 8 for 10. I think he'll take 80%. There's no doubt that he will, but if you're the defensive play caller, you better circle what you just dialed up on your play sheet and come back to it because he just caused an incompletion. You need a few more of those. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. Now Murray again. Flushed out right. Oh, now Murray has it stripped, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. Second time he's fumbled in this game. Fortunate for him, this one goes out of bounds. And the key for him now is how much equity have you built up with your coaching staff? How much equity have you built up with your team to continue to get opportunities? Fortunate that one went out of bounds, saved him from a turnover. There is Rodrigo Blankenship in the field goal unit. Going to be spotted on the right hash. A 52-yard attempt. And this one is no good. He missed it. And that will keep this a three-point game. One of the few things that hasn't gone right in this first half. They had a chance there for late points. But this one winds up off the mark. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And maybe a chance for a quick completion and then a long field goal try. We'll see. Pass caught. It's been Skoranek. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. And this won't get there, won't be online either. It's no good, off to the right. So we've hit halftime, just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams as they've already made their way back out of the locker room. So to bring you the story of the second half, we'll see you right back out 
to Brandon God. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. set to receive the second half kickoff and they trail here as we resume play from the end zone here comes Brandon Powell and ultimately cannot get this out to the 25 yard line as he's dropped at the 23 the Rams offense ready to begin quarter number three well, out of the locker rooms, here they come. Their first drive of the third quarter, and Charles, they're trailing in this ball game. but we got a tight one and set up to be a very entertaining second half. And as we know, partner, in the NFL, there's trailing and there's trailing, right? Sometimes you're discouraged by how much you're down, but in this case, this is a tight ball game, so there's a sense of optimism here. I think they went in at the half and looked at their play sheet and said, these are the plays we really like. What do you say we use them to start the second half and get us going? Now Akers to start the third quarter on the ground. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. From the 27, Stafford. That's complete to Robinson. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. On first and 10, Stafford. And his throw's going to be incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Stafford going to give this to Akers. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. First down Los Angeles there with a pickup of 14 yards. The more football I watch, the more I want to check and see if teams are going to panic when they're down on the scoreboard. And this team has shown no signs of doing that. A lot of the time, they come out after the half. Things haven't worked so well in the first go around. They want to throw the football like crazy. But the way to open up throwing the ball is to run it. And they've run it well here to start the second half. So in the Cardinal territory now, it's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Throwing a Stafford and quickly into the hands of Robinson. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination looked pretty good. How about that? Let's see, if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now it's Stafford. And his throw is incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earn a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. A give up the middle to Akers. And a solid run down inside the 30. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. But this play sequence was really kind of called in reverse. Incomplete pass on first and ten. 
Nice run on second and 10 when probably everyone was expecting him to throw the football. Now, if you're the defense, what are they going to do on third down? You're a little off balance. Stafford on third down. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. And the Cards will take over here just shy of the 30. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. And their defense just helped them out by getting the football back on the opening drive here in the second half. And now can the offense follow through with points on their first possession? And that's a big one for them because after the work the defense has done, they've got a chance here to open up this lead. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10, just shy of the 30. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. My first thought is surprise, because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? A good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game. Second and ten. Play fake. Murray. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. The improv act there, good for nine. And now they'll be looking at a third and short, third and one. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. So that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this, I'll take it, I'll pick it up, and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. They'll try the left side with Connor. And he is going to lose yardage here. The all-everything defensive tackle, Aaron Donald, the one who made the play there. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half. And that trend is continuing here. Contend with a second and 12 after the loss. And now Murray's going to set up the throw. And complete to Zach Ertz. A gain of eight there on the play. And it's third and four now. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense. And guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. Murray giving to Connor on the option. 
Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. And now the throw hold in by Green. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 32-yard line. 13 yards as the quick slant keeps the drive moving. So the scoring dried up here in the third. Nothing that quarter for either side. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. To throw is Murray. And he's got the hook up to Moore. So give him two yards there on the completion, and that'll make it second down. Partner took a while for him to lock onto a receiver, and he finally found his man coming left to right across the formation. But by the time he got the ball to him, not much of a chance to turn up field and make anything out of it. This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. Murray now. Again, he finds more. And he's stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Well, if you do read man covers, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. So two of two on third down conversions on this drive, and now they face a third and three here. Throwing again, Murray. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Jalen Ramsey. A seismic shift in momentum here in the fourth quarter. That's the break that the defense needed. And you know as well as I do, people are going to question the play call in that situation. Sometimes you have to question the execution, not necessarily the call. And in this case, those defenders found a way to give their team a chance. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. A golden opportunity for them now following the interception. They need to try to at least get three. Obviously, a touchdown puts them in a much more secure position. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their own 21. After the interception, here's Stafford. That would complete to Skoranek. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. They'll go with Akers here up the middle. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Off the fake to Akers. Here's Stafford. He's got his man downfield. It's Robinson. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 27 yards there, a first down. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively, but they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. 
Here's Stafford. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Taking it right down Broadway. And they will score. It's a pick six for the Cardinals touchdown. Well, what a game this has turned out to be for him. Remember, CD, he had the turnover earlier, and now the pick six, that's the cherry on top. You're absolutely right about that, partner. And when you force a turnover on defense, you're the guy most excited about getting back out there and trying to force another one. How about him picking off that pass, setting his sights on the end zone? You know he wasn't going to be denied getting there either. Now Blankenship on for the PAT. It's good to make it 17-7. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Powell now to take it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And we'll see if they can band back together after the pick six. It hurt badly, but still within striking distance. A two-score game with a good chunk of time on the clock. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their own 23. Stafford here coming off his pick six. They'll set up the screen here to Akers. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple of scores, and they've really got to get some yards in chunks, and they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Here's Stafford. Akers back-to-back -back catches. And not much happening there. He's taken down, but a late penalty flag in the backfield. This looks like a roughing call. And one of the real good guys in this league, J.J. Watt. Not a malicious play, just football as far as he's concerned, but at the same time, He's got to know a little bit better and not take the shot there. So now a fresh set of downs, first and 10 after roughing the passer. Stafford now to throw. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Stafford. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Throwing again at Stafford. Pressure comes, and the Cardinals bring him down. The sack there by J.J. Watt. 
I remember when I was a kid and all I wanted was a nickel so I could get that soda down at the fountain. And guess what? The nickel came into play well. Five defensive backs, they covered well, allowed for the sacks. Sodas were a nickel when you were a kid? No, I just needed the extra nickel oh. so, I could pay the, so I could pay the proper okay, price. Okay, how much were they? A dime? <laughs> what were they? Uh, 15 cents. And they'll try to squeeze in one more play here before the two-minute warning. Desperation time for Stafford on fourth down. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. Well, I guess an interception at this point on fourth down is just as bad as an incomplete pass. Either way, the ball goes over to the other side. Yeah, it's a tough spot to be in this late in the game, and there's not a whole lot he could do there, and he winds up giving the ball away. The Cardinal offense takes back over. They have to like the position that they are in. Fourth quarter, two-score lead, and now the ball back after the INT. Out of the shotgun, they'll run with Connor. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get your reset. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. Connor going to get it again on second down. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. Stay on the ground with Connor again. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. From the gun, a give to Connor. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The Rams go nickel here defensively on third. Here's a handoff to Connor. What a great effort there. He's going to get this inside the 15, and they'll spot it at the 13-yard line. Nice run. 58 yards rushing for him in the ball game now on 14 carries. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Down to a knee. Here's the Cardinals look to let the clock roll.
Down to an goes Murray as that will just about wrap this thing up. adjustment whatever they did in the locker room it certainly worked it certainly did and you're exactly right whether it was an adjustment whether it was just more focus on what they plan to do going in whether they just played better whatever it was it all came together in the second half and no points were allowed that's a great way to close them out So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. From Los Angeles, so long, everybody.